15 billionaires who are now broke. It is not every day that you see a billionaire going broke, and it rarely happens too. But we are listing 15 of those billionaires that went broke and everything changed for them overnight. It sounds really bad, so let's see how exactly they went broke. But before that, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon. Number 1. Alan Stanford Alan Stanford became a billionaire overnight with the help of a Ponzi scheme. He was running a huge system of frauds, and he scammed more than 18,000 people. All of his Ponzi schemes collectively took $7 billion from people, and most of these people were retired seniors. Once the information about his scheme became public, his network became zero, and he got arrested. Alan was sentenced to 110 years in jail for good. Number 2. Sean Quinn Sean Quinn was the real deal in Ireland because he was the richest man there. His net worth was more than 3 billion euros, and he had his hands in multiple industries like real estate, manufacturing, and construction. His business expanded too much that it got out of control, and he also faced a loss in one of his investments. After a few years, he filed for bankruptcy as he only had 50,000 euros left in his bank. Number 3. Aubrey McClendon Aubrey's net worth was $1.2 billion, and he was also the co-founder of a very reputable oil and gas company. He was accused of illegally getting the drilling rights for his company, and he died right after these accusations. But reports say that his company was facing loans of millions of dollars, so he might be very close to bankruptcy before he died. Number 4. Patricia Kluge Patricia married one of the richest men in America, John Kluge, but the couple got divorced and Patricia became a billionaire after getting a state in Virginia and a winery. Patricia's business was going great until the real estate agency faced a crisis and she had to sell her Virginia state in a fraction of what it was worth. The downfall of Patricia started from there and she went from being a billionaire to bankrupt. Number 5. VJ Malia he was a very successful businessman who became a billionaire by expanding his father's liquor business. He invested in an airline and also took lots of debts from the banks to support that airline. But when he was unable to pay his debts, he fled the country and it was later found that he was also involved in scams of billions. Currently, VJ Malia is not a billionaire. In fact, he is close to bankruptcy in Britain. Number 6. Elizabeth Holmes Elizabeth owned a $9 billion company that claimed to be developing a test that could diagnose multiple diseases at once. As it turns out, Elizabeth was not even close to any such scientific breakthrough, and she was sentenced to prison for 20 years as she scammed her investors. Number 7. Ica Batista Ica once was the seventh richest person in the world, but his oil company faced a major crisis when it failed to meet the production requirements. The investors pulled out their money and Ica faced a huge loss. Also, the economy of Brazil also affected his business and he filed for bankruptcy too. Number 8. Bernie Madoff Bernie is not a well-known criminal, but that does not make him any less of a scammer because he was the mastermind behind the largest Ponzi scheme ever, and he even managed to gather $17.5 billion from this scheme. He was later arrested and sentenced to 150 years, and $13 billion were recovered too. Number 9. Adolf Merkel Adolf started as a small company that grew and became a billion-dollar business. His net worth grew, and he was standing at $9 billion at his peak, but his company faced loss and fell into debts of billions eventually. He had no choice but to declare bankruptcy because of overwhelming debts. Adolf committed suicide in 2009 because of all of the losses. Number 10. Jocelyn Wildenstein Jocelyn, too, was married to a billionaire, and when she got divorced, her payout was $2.5 billion. 
But she soon spent all this money because her income was zero and her lavish lifestyle was dependent on this divorce money. Jocelyn also filed for bankruptcy and went from being a billionaire to having nothing literally in her bank account. Number 11. Jargofer Gunmundsen He was considered the second richest man in Iceland and his net worth was $1.2 billion until a bank he was a big shareholder in went under and the economy of Iceland became problematic too. He also filed for bankruptcy because of millions of debts. Number 12. Chuck Feeney He is the only billionaire on this list who went bankrupt on purpose. Yes, Chuck gave all of his wealth away in charity, which was more than $9 billion. In the end, he also saved enough money for him and his wife to retire and gave everything else away. Number 13. Bernie Ebers he was the owner of a company that was believed to be the real deal in the telecom industry, but it was found that there was a major problem in the books of the company, and they were short by $11 billion, for which Bernie had to go to jail for 25 years, and he went bankrupt too. Number 14. Yasumitsu Shigeta he was a Japanese billionaire whose net worth was $42 billion, and he was the youngest self-made billionaire in Japan, too. But the IT bubble of Japan burst, and the market became highly volatile, after which Yasumoto lost $41 billion, and he lost $5 billion of them in just 24 hours. Number 15. John D. Rockefeller John D. was considered the richest American man and he owned a fortune of $360 billion until the Great Depression and he lost all of his money. So, which of these billionaires deserve to go bankrupt? Tell us in the comments section. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon for the latest updates. We will see you in the next video. Till then, adios from our side.